Children across the island in public elementary and middle schools, charter schools, private schools, and child learning centers participated in this year's PBS Readathon to continue the effort to encourage youngsters to read for fun and enjoy the fundamentals of reading and quality educational time. And they got some really cool prizes to show for it. Participants were rewarded for their efforts in reading achievements while friends and family pledged to support PBS's educational mission to help children succeed in school. Not only does PBS broadcast quality educational programs on television for kids, but also moves beyond the family living room to engage and inspire children to be ready and eager to learn. Simon says he couldn't really hear you. Simon says scream a little louder. <laughs> According to the U.S. Department of Education, schools across the nation reported that readathon programs motivated even the most reluctant of readers to pick up a book. According to ReadingFoundation.org, academically, children who are not reading on their grade level by the end of third grade struggle in every class year after year because over 85 percent of the curriculum is taught by reading. Reading is a skill by which students get information from books, computers, worksheets, and boards to learn math, science, literature, social studies, and more. So it was fitting for the award ceremony itself to celebrate each child's success with lots of games, dancing, face painting, and balloon art with fun forte. What it do, what it do. Catch us live here at the PBS Readathon here at Agatha Shopping Center. It's your boy W. Red doing some balloon art, balloon twisting for the kids. Just chilling, having a good time on a Saturday. Catch you, catch you soon. In 2016, the education company in Kent, England evaluated schools who have run readathons and compared them to the schools that don't. The schools that do run it year after year have the highest levels of attainment. 80% of teachers and librarians who participated in the research find reluctant readers read more and it motivates the whole class or school to read when they participate in their local readathon. It's reading to your children. I mean, even as an infant, uh, you take time, you read to your child, you give them that opportunity to hear you, you're setting the example, and then as the children get older, then you sit around with your books and you read and you'll see they'll go look for their books because of course they want to follow the example. But this is what this readathon does. You have a pledge card. The pledge card means that you read to the child. And of course that's the whole key to uh, really having these children soar in the reading abilities. We've had children in our program four years old who can read at ninth grade level. Uh, and this is again that opportunity if you're watching television, you'll have your closed captions. They pick that up as quick as can be and then they excel. It's, it's just what it is. It's a beautiful thing, but that's how you're going to get high IQs. That's how you're going to develop their, their yearning for schooling and their ability to develop a memory. Memory's the key, folks. Kaufman said that the key to success is repetitiveness, and the sooner a child picks up a book, the sooner they'll have higher life satisfaction scores. Basically, they're just a whole lot happier. Thank you for supporting PBS Guam and our school students here in Guam. For Buenos, Guahusi Pauli Suba.